A drone hovers over the Luxembourg Musée d'Art Moderne and a robot stands in front of the building. Both are working together to receive visitors and help them find their way around. Science fiction or a realistic vision of the future. Hello, can I help you? Hey, can you recommend me how to visit the museum? Of course, I will show you around. Researchers of the Interdisciplinary Center for Security, Reliability and Trust of the University of Luxembourg have been working for many months with scientists and creative artists on an installation that shows that such a scenario is already far from fantasy. Good, we can start. The early phase of the project. Project initiator and leader Dr. Patrice Kerr is testing whether a humanoid robot and a drone can be programmed to cooperate with each other. Hence, Dr. Kerr named the project Co-Robots for Cooperative Robots. She works with drone expert Dr. Miguel Olivares Mendez to harmonize their movements. This is an enormous challenge as the machines operate with different software. These systems are so interesting because they have to fulfill very complex tasks like sensing a complex environment, generation of uh, control commands, behavior generation, planning, sometimes even learning. And that's what makes this task so difficult on the one side, but also so very interesting for us on the other side. The Musée d'Art Moderne a few months later. The installation, supported by the city of Luxembourg, will soon be revealed to the public. The experts have resolved the initial programming problems. Yet, the real conditions in the museum have brought new challenges of their own. In the high, open room, it's hard to understand what the robots are saying. Also, the drone and robots only have a small playing field in which to move. Careful of the net, Tom. It's there for your own safety. Many, many things are not obvious to the public that I have to take into consideration. One example would be that the robot has to stop at the edge of the podium in order not to fall down. For the second part of the installation, the researchers have even programmed a quiz on different kinds of sports. Boxing. Boxing. Yeah. Yeah. The aim is for the visitors and robots to communicate with one another in real time. Take this. The whole show is about cooperation. In the first part, it's about cooperation among robots, and in the second part, it's about cooperation between robots and humans. So that's the point of it. We chose a few games through which the public can not only be engaged, but also have a little fun, because that's also the point. Trying to get a sense of what we can do with robotics. Battery will soon be charging. The installation is part of the exhibit E Por Si Muove, and yet it moves about the relationship between technology and art. On display are exhibits from both worlds, including milestones in technological development, such as this computer from the 1950s, early automobiles, or this 18th century theodolite. Tom, come down. In contrast to the exhibit, the robotics installation is like a glimpse into the future. The scenario not only has to be technically feasible and run smoothly, it also has to convey an entertaining dramaturgy. Accordingly, all experts are working up to the very last minute to make the machine's choreography as engaging as possible. For me, it's about the audience being able to imagine that robots can be useful in environments that you didn't expect them to be in. So, for example, here in this museum, to have the robots help people navigate it and help people understand the artworks. Because I think at the moment, many people don't really know how to implement these robots, but to imagine a time where you can own one or where institutions can own one and they can be interactive. And yet, how will co-robots be received by the visitors? The museologists in the team are addressing that very question. This is a new type of mediation. This is a robotized mediation. So it's really quite new for the museums. So we will first analyze 
publics and robots uh, with camera and uh, with drawing, with uh, writing, um, a bit like anthropologist. And then we will uh, make interviews and questionnaire with the visitors. The Co-Robots project brings together the results of research from different fields and ties it up with other disciplines to create a unique and truly interdisciplinary work. It also proposes scenarios and ideas for the use of robotics in other public and commercial buildings. It is a milestone for the SNT. It's a very important area where we're working with several partners here in Luxembourg. And it's inherently an interdisciplinary area as well. We look at the communication and networking aspect, but also the, the security part, because these are controlled and communicate through software systems and they have to be secure. And the Modam project is an excellent opportunity for us to showcase the results of our work. An installation like CoRobots is truly innovative. It brings research and technology from the lab to the people and contributes to increasing acceptance for robotics and machine communication. And so, CoRobots shows how robots of all kinds will become important helpers in our daily lives in a not too distant future. <laughs>